A conventional microfluidic setup is based on four elements. A pressure controller, tubing, a microfluidic chip, and accessories such as a flow meter. Controlling the flow rate inside a microfluidic chip is necessary, as it has a strong impact on molecular diffusion, mass transport, and cellular viability, as well as organization and function. However, all the elements on the fluidic path bring resistance to the circuit and influence the flow rates inside the system, meaning it is difficult to determine a precise value of the flow rate, as it depends on each component. Here is what a complete microfluidic setup using fluigent products can look like. The flow easy pressurizes a reservoir, making the liquid flow through tubing and a microfluidic chip, then discarding it into waste. A flow unit can be added to monitor and control the flow rate. Our calculator helps users precisely determine the fluidic parameters of their microfluidic setup, such as the pressure, the flow rate and the circuit's resistance, based on the system components and the chip geometry. How to use the pressure and flow rate calculator. First choose the microfluidic geometry required for your experiment. Let's assume we take the chip from B on chip, the B flow. We'll select straight channel in the chip geometry section. Second, choose the control type you want to have during your experiment. During this step, you will decide to either have total control of the pressure you are using and the calculator will determine the associated flow rate, or you can provide a flow rate order and the pressure will be automatically calculated. Then, indicate the dynamic viscosity of the fluid you are working with. Third, enter the dimension of your chip channel. Enter your chip channel's height, width, and length. Then, enter the dimension of the tubing you are using, knowing that tubing length can be added. Tubing length total equals length tubing 1 plus length tubing 2. The internal diameter will remain the same. Here, we imagine we have two tubings of 40 mm length and 254 m diameter. The resistance value is automatically calculated. Fourth, enter the flow parameters. In this step you have two choices. If you chose pressure on the control type. Enter the pressure you are going to use. You can enter the pressure from one controller, pressure one, or two controllers if you are using a back pressure at the end of your setup for better control. In this case, enter the two pressures you are going to use. Here we set a pressure of 15 bar. The associated flow rate is automatically calculated. If you chose flow rate on the control type, simply enter the flow rate you want. Fifth, adapted flow control. The calculator will provide the flow control solution adapted to meet your needs. In this case, a flow easy 69 bar is well suited for the experiment. Find additional expertise and resources about microfluidic markets and applications at www.fluigent.com.